Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to mount an ISO image in Windows 10 and 11. ISO image can also be referred to as ISO files and it's quite very useful for some organization using it to um, transfer files. In, for example, we have uh, Microsoft who make use of this ISO image in uh, getting the trial versions of the operating system to people across the world. So you can equally mount it on your system and when you are done with it, you can uh, mount it and you can also install the files, for instance, like the trial version of uh, Microsoft, you can install the um, OS on your system. But in this article, I will only be showing you how to mount this ISO image to your system. It will just be like attaching a folder to your system. So um, I have the files, I have the ISO file I mean in uh, this download, you can see winserver.iso that is our ISO file. So there are different ways you can mount this ISO image or ISO file onto your system. Um, let's select it. Once you select it, you will see under disk image tools, you will see this mount here. So once you mount, once you click this mount button, it will be mounted on your system. Let's try that. So let's go ahead, just click open. This is just a security warning. Just uh, warning you that you are about to do or uh, engage in attaching a file to your system. So just go ahead and open. So these are all the files. These are um, Windows operating system files. It is, um, that's the image I have. So now we are inside the ISO image now. You can also confirm, just go to your PC. You get to see it mounted here. This is the, the icon for the ISO image. So you can click it anytime and to open. So that's that. So um, another way you can mount, or before then, let's try to unmount now. If you want to unmount this, just click eject. Yes, and it's, it's gone. So let's check for another way that you can mount. Um, sorry, let me just search for the ISO. ISO to bring back the file. So this is the ISO file again. So now um, we are going to use the contest menu. Now just right click it for the contest menu to display. Once you right click it, just scroll down. Okay, this is at the top here. Can you see? Mount. This is another way you can mount it. Once you click it, the same uh, security warning message comes up. Just click open. This is for Windows 10. So it has been mounted now. These are the files. So if you go back, you get to see it mounted. So let us uh, inject it again. You can inject once you are no longer using it. So that's that's it. So um, that's some of the ways that you can mount and also inject what you mounted on your system but what about um using powershell so on the powershell you make use of this uh, 
two command this is to mount and this is to dismount that's to uh, eject so yeah. all what you have to do is to copy the location of your file and place it here and place it here where you have part to so far so now let me bring up so this is the this is the power share so sorry about that let me scroll up so now we have this the command and this is uh, the location for my file this is the location and this is the win server so that's the name of the file so we are going to mount it now you can also confirm from here that we currently do not have it mounted so let's we are going to run it now run this command Let's wait. Uh, okay, fine. So we've mounted it now. Let's see whether it's, it's going to show. Yes, it's now showing. That is um, the command, PowerShell command to mount. But um, let's inject it now or dismount it. So this is uh, the command for it. Just change the mount to dismount and you are good to go. So I'm going to run it now. Can you see? So it has disappeared. So that's uh, the, that's another way to mount and uh, dismount using the PowerShell command. So, it's very easy to mount your ISO image or ISO file on your system. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video and thank you for watching.